Types of authority. Let's first define what is authority. According to Scaffer and Feldman, authority is an institutionalized power that is recognized by the people over whom it is exercised. Max Weber developed a classification system for authority and identified three ideal types of authority. The first type of authority is called traditional authority. In this authority, legitimate power is conferred by custom and accepted practice. Power that is rooted in traditional or long-standing beliefs and practices of society. It exists and is assigned to particular individuals because of the society's custom, customs and traditions. Examples of traditional authority are monarchies, the patriarchy, religion, feudalism, and patrimonialism. So traditional in a traditional authority, the authority is either inherited or assigned or passed on. The second is the rational legal authority. It is also known as the bureaucratic authority. Power is made legitimate by law. Leaders derive authority from the written rules and regulation of political systems. Leaders are thought to have a specific areas of competence and authority, but are not thought to be endowed with divine inspiration. This form of authority is a hallmark of modern democracies, where power is given to people elected by voters, and the rules for wielding that power are usually set forth in a constitution, a chamber, a charter, or another written document. Examples of rational legal authority are the modern democratic nation, state, the capitalist firm, and the immigration. Third is the charismatic authority. Power made by leaders is ex by a power made by leaders exceptional personal or emotional appeal to his or her followers, derived from the beliefs of followers than from the actual qualities of leaders. Charismatic authority or leadership style relies on the charm and persuasiveness of the leaders. Charismatic leaders are driven by their convictions and commitments to their cause. Example of charismatic authority is Mahatma Gandhi, Napoleon Bonaparte, Steve Jobs, Martin Luther King, and so on. Among the types of authority, I believe that the traditional, that the traditional, uh, that the regal, that the rational legal authority is the best practice because the society has a voice to elect their leaders as well as they are looking for the qualifications not through emotional or the persuasiveness of a person.